Hello everybody, I've got a video for you today. I'm going to be installing a VPN, which is Winscribe on Linux Mint, and I'm gonna be doing that on the command line. So here you can see what we need to do is run some commands. So sudo apt key adv dash dash key server space key server dot ubuntu dot com dash dash recv dash key and then type in this as well fdc 247b7 and that's going to execute so what that is is getting the public key imported we then need to get the repository And then what we'll do is update the repo as well. So just follow these commands, echo, deb, https, colon, forward slash, forward slash, repo, dot winscribe, dot com, forward slash, ubuntu, bionic main, end quote. And then that's going to be pipe to sudo, space t, forward slash, and then the path, so etc. apt sources dot list dot d forward slash windscribe. Dash repo, it's a repository dot list. Press enter. Now what we'll do is install it. So sudo apt get update. So that will connect to the packages, give that a few moments. And then we can move on to our next part. I've done three parts already and there's only another two, so five kind of steps in total. What we want to do now is type in the following command. So sudo apt get install. So it should work now. Winscribe dash CLI. Tap yes to confirm and proceed. It's just letting you know it's going to take up some space. And once that's done, which should be pretty straightforward, we can then log, log on. So here what you'll need to do, you'd need to have registered a username before. So if you haven't done that, just go onto their website, I'll leave a link, register with your name and email address, and then you can come here. So username, whatever that is, pop that in. I'm gonna use one for the purpose of this video, and then input your password, and once done, just press enter. There we go, that's logged in. Now we wanna just fire that up. So you'll type in this command, winscribe connect. Press enter, and that's gonna go connect, and that's usually gonna be on UDP as the, the quickest. And in this case, it's 443, so that's the HTTPS protocol. And in this instance, it's changed the IP, which would have been the public IP, to 8192200214. That's it. There you go. Um, I'd highly recommend this VPN.